we ain't going to be taking the game lightly, you know. It's a test match at the end of the day and we're playing for our country, so um, you know, we won't be complacent, that's for sure. We're going to take it with both hands, you know, we're playing at Wembley. On Saturdays, you know, we're much better again, bigger than that. And uh, we'll be playing against, like, say, the world champions and the holders of the, the four nations at the moment in New Zealand. So, you know, we're definitely looking forward to getting stuck into it. It is a danger game first. It's, it's really important that we tune up with the right frame of mind and with the right attitude. And, and um, you know, I'm really confident that the ladies are going to do that. I think this weekend is going to be a real physical contest and uh, hopefully a great game for the to go out there and, um, and they work hard for each other and obviously we don't want to be in a dog fight with them so we want to work hard in the first 20 minutes hopefully you know, things will roll off the back of that. Silly to write us off, you know. The people are, you know. We're not too bothered, I suppose. You know, we've got as good as chances anyone, you know, to win this competition, and you know, we're confident in what we're doing. But obviously, you know, we'll see. If you're honest with me, how hard is it not to not to look beyond this game against Wales and and look to the the game against England up in Hull? Oh, it's, it's not too hard for me because you know I've been in games where you like this in for New Zealand where you're expected to win and you don't perform well. You know, and they're the worst ones, you know, to play in. So for me, you know. I know how important it is that you start well in this game and perform to our potential because you know these games are, can be tricky if you if you if you're too relaxed and you're not complacent and you know it's, it's a bad feeling when you come with a feel like that. Yeah, definitely a proud moment for me. Uh, you know, uh, every time we uh, sing the national anthem, you know, I get a little bump in my throat. Uh, I think about where, where my family and stuff like that, and uh, to do it at Wembley will be, definitely be a joyous occasion for me and my family. You know, this it's, it's going to be a tough game for you guys. But how, how much, you know, how much hope do you, do you guys kind of have within within the camp of actually winning this game? Look, yeah, we're a, we're a close bunch. You know, the lads are a, we're very tight. You know, we've got a good good squad. Uh, the squad's been together for a couple of years now, and it, we just keep getting stronger and stronger each year. We get together, so the spirit in the in the camp's fantastic, and uh, we'll be looking to take that into the game. And you know, we, we've got the underdog tag, which is fine with us, and you know. Underdogs, you know, tend to come out fighting, and that's what we'll be doing on Saturday. Oh, mate, I think any defeat's pretty, pretty bad. I guess, um, you know, we knew we weren't at our best, and um, obviously the Aussies weren't either, but they still managed to beat us. So um, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, we've been trying to work on that this weekend. Um, hopefully, you know, we put into practice. Yeah, I'll be completely honest with me. Here. How hard is it not to look beyond Wales and uh, have one eye on that game against England up in Hull? Oh, to be honest, I haven't. Um, you know, I haven't looked any further than this weekend's game. I think it's been. You know, two months for myself, um, you know, trying to get out there and play footy. So I want to, you know, get out there this weekend and do everything we can to, you know, get a win. And obviously if we get a win, then we get to play the English boys and that's going to be a, you know, a do or die match for us. So um, for myself, you know, it's just trying to be simple out there and trying to get the job done. Oh, massively proud of I mean, it doesn't you know, get any bigger than that really. And uh, to play at Wembley is just, you know, it's one of my uh, you know, dreams to, to do and uh, I'll to go out there on Saturday and win it would just be a you know, massive occasion for us all and you know, massive occasion for Wales I believe. How's training gone this week? What's Yestin's approach been after after the defeat? A very positive approach. Yestin's, you know, he's, he's got us all together and because we're all a close unit as it is anyway. Working on you know the, the strengths and weaknesses, we're working on that even harder. And it's just things are just going really smoothly at the moment, and uh, we're just really looking forward to get out there. There's always there's always things to work on, and you know um, you know getting to the end of our you know getting, improving our completion rate and, 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 and building pressure on on the opposition is really important for us. And you know we feel if we can do that, which you know we showed uh, for a 30 minute period of the second half there, then we can create ourselves opportunities, so that's what we're looking to do. I've been plugging away with this question with some of the other boys, but I can't seem to get it out of them. This game, you know, you go into it as overwhelming favourites. How difficult is it not to have one eye on that game against England up in Hull? Yeah, again, our focus is primarily on, you know, on Wales, and that's, you know, part of, you know, the attitude of, of you know, where we are as, as, a, as a group, you know, if, if we... 
um, like I said, take the soft option or, or look ahead to next week. You know, that's when you get, you know, that's when you trip up and and you know make life hard for yourself. So our, our focus is primarily on on the Welsh side and and our game at one o'clock on, on Saturday afternoon. What do you expect the Welsh to bring? Because obviously against England they went for the tough physical approach, but I guess that's kind of that'll kind of meet fire with fire, so to speak, because you're a fairly tough and physical side yourselves. Yeah, I, I thought they, uh, were, like I said, I thought they played really well. I thought they, um, yeah, the winger um, Keir and, and Williams, the wingers Keir and Williams, you know, did a great job for for the Welsh side. And, I thought um, young Frizzell, who um, who's come over from Cronulla, he did a you know he did a great job, caused a lot of problems up up their left hand side of the field, and um, you know so from that point of view, I think um, you know add to that Lee Breers, you know it, it does pose a pose a danger for us.